Our team coverage of tonight's violent storms here in Connecticut uh, takes us to Coventry where trees were snapped like matchsticks. In fact, various towns in the northeastern part of the state like Rockville, Vernon and Tallinn were all hit. Yeah, you can see that image behind us right there. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell spent the night canvassing those areas. He is on North River Road in Coventry with a look at some of the most severe cases and quite a bit of damage out there, Matt. Yeah, Aaron and Mark, you know, I want to tell you, it's still a very dangerous situation out here. When we started our broadcast just a few minutes ago, a tree actually fell down across the street from where we are. So trees are still falling down at this hour. And this is an area where we have seen some significant damage. You can see this tree here on its side and then just past this. You might not be able to see it, but there's a row of trees and those were splintered and they came down in all different directions. There was a strong smell of wood that was floating through the area air um, when all of these trees did come down and a lot of the neighbors who were hunkering down sheltering they say even though with all of this damage they know they got lucky. I showed our road. It was surreal for Rich Matusko to see his street North River Road pop up on eyewitness news during our tornado warning coverage. And I see a tree fall down I said get in the basement you know we brushed in the basement and as soon as we got in the basement the power went out. It started like downpouring and then my mom said, get in the house, get in the basement, and then we got in. Tree just went like flying. When neighbors emerged to survey the damage, they saw nearly every tree in their yard either uprooted or snapped. Everything got pushed <laughs> that way. That tree over there. His neighbor, Gary Manville, had this tree pushed right onto his house. He was inside and had no clue what happened. The wind was so strong, you couldn't hear anything but the wind. The storm was a fast mover and neighbors are stunned by how quickly their yards were turned upside down. Within eight seconds, everything was done. Even after all of this, Manville is thankful to be left with just minor roof and gutter damage. I'm just happy nobody got hurt. And it really is a remarkable feat when you do survey some of this damage. Neighbors here on the Coventry Holland line say they would like somebody from the National Weather Service to come out here and survey it to see if this indeed was a tornado. That's the latest live here in Coventry tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 5 News. Quite something, Matthew. Thank you very much.